Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to show you what I just picked up. Uh, this is the AR Fun 90 millimeter brushless uh, mini drone. So as you can see here, it's just a mini racer. And I wanna do the unboxing here real quick to show you what's inside this package. So, as you can see, um, actually, they included um, some spare props. So, you can see the little tie wrap, uh, four bladed um, props, and this one looks like the 1935 five bladed. 1935 five-bladed props. Okay, it's a pretty nice color. And they also include the other set, which is a different color here. But this one is the three-blade uh, props on this one. So this is the the DYS props. Okay, and the third set is another 1335 uh, four bladed uh, also props okay looks like this is kind of stiff but they're not bendable so kind of spring back if you bend it all right so what else they include here a little velcro here to strap the uh, battery and the other Velcro here. Alright. So what is this? This is I think this is the propeller screws that you can screw this propeller to the motor. So it gives you different set. They give you the M2 four millimeters and also M2 seven millimeters screw as well. So two sets here which is nice more screws the better I like that another velcro so in this bag it's, it's gone alright so let's see what else in here okay so box to the side so in here this little bubble wrap here let's see what we have in here so what we have here is the AR fun drone so the batteries is in here it's already have it strap underneath here so let's remove that so this battery here is a 300 uh, milliamps 25c two cells to 7.4 volts with JST connector okay so this is a two cells very small all right okay and here is the quad itself so look at the motor here's the aurora motor rc uh device you can see here let me see if you can let me zoom in for you okay so it's a device uh, 1104 kV okay so it's a very small motor but it's very nice okay all right then they have the not the clover leaf antenna so that's kind of nice I like that because when with clover leaf when you crash it's gonna break the antenna so this one's it's okay I don't mind with that um, also this uh, camera here is a 600 TVL camera okay looks like it has a little tie wrap here to the camera and it gives the angle of the camera 
kind of pointed at it's about 30 degrees pointing up no lens covers or anything here um, then you got the PDB down here sandwich with the flight controller a USB port this is the F3 flight controller that flash with uh, beta flight and the nice thing about this one it has the buzzer over here back here has a little buzzer here and the flight controller uh, from the description it actually said that it has uh, OSD built in as well so it has OSD buzzer Okay, which is nice, and you can use the Betafly OSD configurator to change that if you like. I will hook it up to the uh, Betafly and see uh, the parameters come out of the box and see how that set uh, in here. And then I ordered this with the Bind to Fly, so it's already pre installed with the FR Sky receiver in here so I'm gonna bind this into my Tyrannus uh, right there so you look at the frame it's pretty nice uh, frame here carbon fiber frame and it's pretty thick you can see here it's a pretty thick frame very strong the only weak point I see is that kind of this arm is a little bit skinny here on the end. But uh, since it's a very thick frame, so I don't know if that's going to be an issue or not. But at least um, it's very well built. Um, all the screws are recessed into the frame. So there is nothing kind of sticking out here. All right. Um, looks like it's a pretty good uh, 90 millimeter quads as you can see so a couple of things I uh, I was looking for this kind um, a small mini brushless you know um, dr racer drone uh, I saw a lot of people are going with the uh, baby hawk Emacs baby hawk the problem with the baby hog that I didn't want to go with is because it's first of all it's a plastic body second of all it doesn't have OSD it doesn't have a buzzer since you're flying a quad it's small There's no buzzer it's just not good enough for me so uh, the Emax I believe is about hundred dollars and this guy you add another 25 30 bucks you get this so and you get OSD and you get buzzer with it um, and why not I mean you're not spending like another hundred you know double the price or anything it's just a few dollars more uh, that's how I look at it because if this one you know we lost it on a tall grass or somewhere you're never gonna find it without buzzer um, that's that's just uh, the way these little guys is unless you fly inside the house uh, which I'm not gonna intend to do it and take into the park somewhere else. So um, let's see how heavy this guy is So let's put the props on put everything on here with the battery Over here with Everything is 75 grams Okay 75 grams exactly with this battery um, so that's not bad okay so uh, we start a bit beta flight um, and then we just go ahead and connect a quad okay so you can see that my quad is uh, connected here so now we connect so if we Move a quad, we can see that everything responding to here. 
Okay, so first off, let's check the uh, the four ports so you can see that the UART number one for uh, the quad is turned on and also the serial uh, or axis turned on here as well for the UART three. So you can see there's US, USD is also enabled here as well. Um, so first let's enable uh, expert mode so we get more option here uh, let's go ahead and check the configuration of this so this is a D sharp um, out of the box okay so don't spin motor um, so I'm gonna turn that off for now okay so when I arm I want to spin the motor and you can see here as we go here's VBAT uh, set up also um, so I gonna low the minimum cells of voltage a little bit and the first warning I gonna lower it down to 3.3 volts um, so give me some time so as you can see here it's actually um, have the S bus selected <coughs> here and my receiver here for the Rannus uh, set up um, so what you can see here is this is a F3 flight controller so it's a 8k 8 kilohertz so for the gyro update and also the pit is 2k here as well and you see that my CPU load is about 22% which is not bad as long as it doesn't go up more than 30% I'm happy in this case um, so everything else it has current meters here for the OSD um, so as you can see here black box OSD is enabled SD card is enabled so let me save this config real quick and now we connect back to it and let's look at the fail save is set to drop so as you can see here set to drop for the fail save um, let's look at the pit ID I'm gonna leave everything as is uh, take it to the field first uh, and then come back if I need adjustment um, looks like everything's kind of in the middle here so it's good my super rate typically is about 0.70 which is right uh, there so I'm not gonna change anything here okay so the receiver as you can see I haven't bound to the Tyrannus yet just want to see so when I come back I'll do that and nothing here so let's see the OSD here you can see OSSI value so you with the uh, butterfly you can set up your uh, actually the OSD um, in the butterfly as well with that okay um, so looks like uh, everything's good there um, let's look at the version of this flight control real quick okay so this one is flash with beta flight 3.1 so it's, that's pretty fairly new with that um, so let's see what we have here gyro and everything so it looks good here so that's what it has right now okay so to bind this uh, quad is a little bit tough as you can see everything small so you look here in this little hole okay and the little gap here there's a little button there so let me uh, zoom in a bit so you can see okay so you should see this little white button there okay that is the bind uh, button so let me um, 
do this. Um, so while you press this down, you just have to connect your battery and you set your radio to the to the bind um, position. Um, if you don't know how to do that, let me show you how. Um, Hello, Daniel. Let's go fly. So in the radio, you create uh, a model. And once you do that, um, you see here I'm selecting that model. You just page over to 2 slash 12, page 2 of 12. Uh, you go down. And with this um, quad, you have to select um, D8 as your uh, mode and you go down to bind so that's basically it and then you just press enter and the radio gonna keep chirping while the radio is doing that you go ahead I already bound this to my radio so you just do what I show you earlier hold down this little button and then plug in the battery and you should hear little beeps and basically that's it and then disconnect the battery and everything should work okay